But it was interesting is you went into Y Combinator, mm -hmm. which obviously is really well known. And I know one of the early startups you work with, I think it was called Kiko, came so, from Y Combinator. How did your experience with Y Combinator mm -hmm. shape the company's mm -hmm. early development? And, and why did you choose to go with Y Combinator, which is a very different sort of a, approach that they take? Yeah, I had a really fun experience, like, gosh, probably 15 years earlier in my career where I joined a company this was Kiko that was in the first batch of Y Combinator. So I remember going to the Y Combinator wow. office in Cambridge and hanging out with Paul Graham and, and whatnot. Um, and that was a really cool experience, right? It was kind of like my way into startups. And so then I think for 15 years, I, I felt like I was YC adjacent. I knew a lot of that community. It's a great community of builders. And so when I went to start Fathom, you know, I think most of, a lot of the folks that joined YC are much earlier in their career. And it makes sense because it's a great place to build network, right? To, you know, if you're coming right. out of college or you're in your 20s and whatnot and you want to get the startups, there's really no better place to, you know, find like-minded people that you can work with than that. But I already had that network. But what I looked at it and said is like, gosh, at this point in my career, all my friends are now like VCs or retired sort of thing, or they're running public companies. I think there's yeah. a lot to be said for getting advice from people that are also in the arena. One, if I got into, you know, YC, which I think is, you know, probably the most prestigious kind of seed funding thing, I'm going to be surrounded by other folks in the arena. I can learn from them. What are they using? What are the, what are the latest tactics they're using for sales, for engineering, for you name it? Um, and also, I just know I'm a very competitive person. And so I knew if I put myself in an environment surrounded by these people that are also doing really well, I will naturally like work a little bit harder because I want to be, yeah. I want to kind of like have that like subtle competition. We were, I think the second batch during COVID, so it was fully remote. Uh, so very different vibe wow. from the, you know, what I, you know, 450 companies fully remote versus the first batch I was adjacent to where it was like eight companies in an office, right, in Cambridge sort of thing. So um, but fantastic experience all around and makes it much easier than it is if you're on your own. So, you know, that alone kind of pays for the equity hit. But the equity hit is obvious up front, but there's also, I've known several people have been in Y Combinator and they echo what you're saying it's such a different sort of community and yep. network i don't even have words for it because it's very different than anything else mm -hmm.